what is up guys, it's your boy Solam here and back with another Classic WoW video for Season of Discovery. Now today I want to talk about a theory that we cooked up on stream last night and we spent a couple of like hours testing this out and testing out everything about it. It's a absolutely fantastic way to level some alts in Season of Discovery. You get a really good and useful rune at an early level as well and I'm honestly surprised nobody has talked about this. Actually maybe somebody has and I've just like missed it or maybe I've been living under a rock. I personally don't know. I just haven't been able to catch anyone talking about this strategy and it's really good for once again leveling alt even if you have friends on a different server that can carry you and stuff it's a good way to get yourself power leveled so to give yourself an idea here we spent about one and a half hours going out in the open world gathering well items handing those in going from level two to level nine that might not be too massive but we also got two gold and a very good rune as an example i now have a melee specialist rune on my level nine hunter so i'm able to use melee specialist at level nine being a melee hunter once again at level nine now the whole strategy here is based around killing the dark riders this is a part of a rune in phase two and you bring a level one the thing is your characters they don't have to tag the boss it's just somebody in your party has to tag the boss and then you will get the loot so i brought a level one i brought a level one for my second account that i am now grabbing the loot on and as you can see right here, this is my level, well, 2 character now, because we do get some experience from gathering the stuff and exploring. So we're level 2, we have no runes, it's just like YouTube stuff, just made in one stream. As you can see, we have gathered all of the objects, all of the various Dalaran relics that you get from the world. Now handing in all of them, as you can see, 2300 experience for every single quest, and we get 5.8 from the final one. We went all the way from level 2 to level 9 nine and about 22 percent 23 percent actually into level nine as well now this is with the current 50 percent experience bonus that we have in season of discovery for level one to level 25 next week that is getting buffed even more to give you a hundred percent all the way from level one to 39 instead of only level one to 25 so now you will have a hundred percent instead of 50 and based on our calculations that means you could go from level two well level 1 because once again I got from level 1 to level 2 by doing exploration experience so from level 2 to level 13 based on our mathematics here between 12 and a half and 13 somewhere is where you will get only by handing these in and as you can see level 9 with the melee specialist rune so now i can be a melee hunter at level 9 which would be really helpful because well you do spend a lot of time in melee at this level anyway you're melee weaving quite a bit and it will significantly increase your leveling speed on top of that at the moment because the way scaling works melee hunters just work really well so you can get a really good rune once again this will depend on your class so mages for example they get arcane barrage that they can also have at level 9 in this case the whole thing is you just bring a level 1 and in this case because you are level 1 you do have to go to like places like swamp of sorrows badlands or the highlands you want to bring a warlock just have a friend, a warlock friend, summon you around. Alternatively, pay someone for a summon. The whole point is, you if, if you're going to walk there, like you will die very many times. So having a warlock summoning you is absolutely great. And we had a really good party for this. So like a warlock summoning and a mage for the portals. Because when you're in Swamp of Sorrows, having that mage for the portals, it's absolutely great. So what could happen here is you can start selling services. Like you can start selling boosting plus summoning services where you can can get someone you can pay they can pay you and you level them from level two to level nine by doing this they also get a rune on top they get about two and a half gold back from the quest they get the rune and everything else and you basically summon them kill them up for them and then do this on repeat just summon kill summon kill summon kill it could be a legitimately summoning service plus boosting service and it's really really good and it's just a really fast way to level. I think it's worth noting that once again we have 50% experience bonus right now from level 1 to 25 and we're getting a 100% bonus next week for, for all levels. And once again I just think it's very interesting that it's it's a very easy way to level alts, alternatively, if you have some alts, you are prepping for the um, next phase. 
I was thinking about doing this for phase 3 prep, because it's items you hold in, in your bags and gives you experience, so you can do it for phase 3 prep. Alternatively, you can prep them for next week and hand them in for twice the amount of experience, and that is why I went out and did this today. I was just like, I'm gonna get the runes anyway, I can do it now, and I can hand it in on Wednesday and get twice the amount of experience. So I'm doing the work now by going out and getting them, having them in my bags, and I'll ham hand them in on Wednesday. And while doing this, me and my chat, we thought about what if we bring a level 1 and see if they get the full experience reward for it, or if the experience scales based on your level. And to my kind of surprise, the experience doesn't scale. It's a flat 1.5k, with at the moment we have a 50% multiplier on top, so it's like it's 1.8k. Right, we, we, we already discussed that, we, we talked about the numbers, it's 1.8k at the moment, and we're getting even more, so that it's going to be 100% next week, so it's not even scaling. Which means at level 1 you get a lot of experience, basically one level for every single relic that you hand in. It is absolutely ridiculous, and you can skip the entire starting zone, plus it's a rune you want to get anyway, so you're skipping the starting zone? Getting a rune you want to have anyway, the rune will help you level faster eventually. It's just great, <laughs> and we're breaking the game, I'm having fun. I, I have no idea why this is working the way it's working, and I have no idea why more people haven't talked about it, but let me know in the comments down below if you already knew about this, and if I'm just crazy, or if this is like actually solid tech. Like, will anyone do this? Right now, knowing what we know, would will you do this on an alt at level 1? Because once again, you would have to have a warlock friend, or alternatively, you need to like know a warlock, or know that you have a warlock in the group that can summon you, but literally just make a raid. All you would have to do is make a raid, and make sure you have like 2 or 3 warlocks. That way if one person leaves, you have a backup. So make a raid, make sure you have a warlock or 2, have a mage or 2 for the portals, and you're good to go. And then just invite yourself on a level 1, and start the pump. Yeah. Once again, there is a big chance that somebody else has talked about this and made a video about it, or liked on it on stream, but to me it was just a very big coincidence today that we tried this out, so if there's anyone else who have made a big topic about this, a big post, or a big video or something about this topic, let me know so I can correctly give them credit. But at the moment I just don't know who to give credit to because we just thought about this yesterday. Which to me sounds really weird that we're two and a half weeks in to Season of Discovery. Actually three weeks in now. And still finding kind of new tech I suppose. But once again let me know if you knew about this in the comments down below. And if you will use it as well. I would be really interested to hear about that. I just think it's absolutely great. And I will definitely do this on many of my alts. Especially the ones that are under level 20. Because since the experience doesn't scale you get so many bars. At level 10, you still get like, what, almost a full level from one relic. That's pretty huge. If you if you hate level 10 to 15, you can basically skip that level bracket by gathering the relics. So you don't even have to use it from level 1 to level 5. You can just use it in a level bracket that you absolutely hate. But yes, that is the video for today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a massive like down below. It's video number three today, but I think it's important this one goes out. So once again, I really do hope you enjoyed the video. And I want to thank you all so much for the support so far in Season of Discovery. I'm honestly still having a blast. We're in Phase 2. I think Phase 2 has been going great so far. Let me know what you think about Phase 2 down below. Thank you for watching, as always. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to go to bed, but I'll see you again very soon. Peace.